All right, what's going on you guys? Armoon here. And today, uh, I'm going to answer your questions. One of the biggest questions that a lot of people ask is, what is the right build path for the top lane? And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be talking about the build path that a lot of challenger stylist players, uh, including myself, do in the mid lane. I'm going to be showing runes here. What's going on guys before we start today's video i want to talk about voy boy's video about the state of league of legends now i know i'm not any big shot youtuber or league player by any means but i still feel like it's worth at least giving a shout out to talk about this too and it might not make a difference but i think that's the thought that counts that i actually do care about it and it's extremely true everything that he says things have been going awful and the one thing he talks about the most is how there's a bot that will ban you for trigger words but if you don't say anything and you run it down or you leave the game or AFK, you won't get banned. You'll only get banned if you say a trigger word like, you know, the N word or the F word, something like that. So this is a huge problem. It makes it so hard to climb and it actually makes the wrong people get to high ELO while the right people just can't do anything about it. And it makes playing games one, a lot less fun, and two, a lot more challenging. Like he said, it's not even just for the content creator. He doesn't care if he gets trolled, but even as a viewer, I watch Voiboy's stream, and it's not fun watching someone troll a game away. I want to watch a good 5v5. So I just want to talk about that before today's video, but without further ado, let's get into it now. Uh, uh, Ability-wise, we're going to be starting E. Whether we're invading a lot, I like to start E. And we're going to see how this goes. That was a top lane. I might have to recall early if things don't go well. I used to be locked up, but I didn't care for it. Hmm. Okay. We're against the Riven top lane. Uh, she's also running TP, so it's going to be a pretty even lane. But nonetheless, we will most likely, in this case start with the seeker's arm guard we're actually going to be starting with a lot of starter items and it's going to be a while till we get our first real item but that's the point of Silas top lane you're basically going to build build to build up and then you really peak when you get into the mid game uh and late game so that's basically what our game plan is going to be laning phase is going to be a little dull not going to really look for a kill but it looks like our team is going off down there wow okay well top lane is an island as they say so. Hmm. Yeah, I really want to go for that CS, but she's not letting me. Huh. She also has a level above us, so we do have to respect that. Don't be afraid to use your abilities for CS, guys. It's really hard to CS with Silas, so using a quick E to get your passive proc is uh, pretty beneficial and worth the mana. This is the truth. I don't know why my game sounds so low. Also, I want to point out a real good go-to ban if you're playing Silas top lane is Fiora. Uh, sometimes the enemy won't even be experienced with her, but we'll pick her just because she's such a good champion against Silas. Ah, it's too bad I didn't get to upgrade my W before that trade, but we definitely want it. <clears throat> they have a Vi jungle with Hail of Blades, so I'm going to kind of be hugging around my minions. Yep. Help me? I had so many minions there that it was able I was able to fend them off pretty well. <clears throat> but I didn't want to like int for the kill on ribbon. I don't want to int now because she does have her shield, her sun, all that stuff. But these biscuits and time warp tonics work really well to help us uh live. Wow, she doesn't really have anything. So a trundle's hugging me pretty well. I'm gonna take a time or, or a biscuit. I serve no one. Help me stay alive in these times. Now that he's recalled, I do have to be a little careful because Vi can come back. 
Oh, he didn't recall. What a pretty good uh, CS state with her. Very close. She still has both of her summoner spells though. And she's probably just gonna TP now. I guess we'll go for a turret plating? Yeah. Cool. Let's reset. So before we get our initial item, I love, love, love to start Doran's Ring and Dark Seal. Also gonna go Cloth Armor. I'm gonna TP so I don't lose anything. I don't wanna lose this XP lead I have. And I don't really care about using it or too early in the game. So don't be afraid to use your TP. Don't think you have to save it. It's not necessary. It's more important to keep a lead over your lane. And we're just going to focus on our lane here. We actually almost have double her farm. These items are really good and really going to help us in our laning. With both like poke. So we could, we have, uh, Doran's Ring is really good for base stats and mana regen. Dark Seal is good to consume our Corrupting Potion and Biscuits, and it's just, I really like having these starter items. I like to have a lot of, and, and, and very high elo professional players do this too. They love to build these, like, multiple starter items on Silas, and then build their way up into, into their peak. And as you can see here, we're really bullying her in this lane. I mean, she's having a lot of trouble farming, and the Cloth Armor won't, will go a long way. We have 64 armor against her. So she's not going to do much damage to us, and even if we get ganked, it's uh, Vi who's also armor, attack damage, but we'll be okay. Top lane is a very, like, mental lane, and that especially works well with Silas, because he, you don't always have to go for the kill, but just winning them in the lane is enough of a win itself. Uh, pushing her to tower, not allowing her to roam, not allowing her to farm very well. All these things play really well into Silas's character and kit. Especially if he gets an advantage. Ah. Now the thing is about Riven is that she has many cancels for our E and W, so I have to be careful when I use that and how. Uh, I'm trying to look for an opening here. I do have a pink ward in that bottom brush, so I'm not too worried, and I don't want to push in the lane because I want her to work for her CS. I want to punish her when she goes up for minions. As you can see. Alrighty. Now, uh, Ribbon's ulti is okay. The one thing I would say about it is that the cast times do take a long time, so you have to be very careful with that, and you don't want to risk getting too low of health. Now, she has TP. I'm going to make her burn it. So there's no point in shoving this way when she's going to TP anyways, because she hasn't used it already. Hmm. Maybe she did earlier? I'm not sure. Maybe because she has home guards. See, that's the thing. If you die, TP is not as necessary because you have home guards. But, like, if you do what I did, where I recalled in the beginning, I don't have home guards. Oh, she's going to TP anyways. Well, anyways, yeah, that's still a thing. If you don't have home guards, then it's a little harder. Uh, I could recall and get an item, but that potentially leaves me... Oh, hello, bye. She's going to ulti me, but I think we live it. I have flash, need be. We'll take a kill. It was a long shot. They both ultied and flashed for me, but I still got away with something. And the good news is I get my farm. This is what's most important. I, I don't want to miss any farm in CS. Kills are obviously important, but th this is different. So we're going to build our Seeker's Arm Guard. Now, what we're going to build is a lost chapter. Now, we're not going to get zone. We're not going to get loot in Zeko per se, but what we will get... Oh, actually, I am going to miss that wave. She shoved it really hard. So we're gonna get a lost chapter, but we're not gonna get a Luden's Echo. We're gonna get Hextech Portal Belt after that. So like I said, a lot of small items, but once we finish the build entirely, we'll be in a really good state. And unfortunately, because I went Magical Footwear, by 10 minutes and 30 seconds, I will have boots, but I don't have a slot to take it. Which is a little awkward, but it'll be okay. All right, so now we can just get stats on our Seeker's Arm card. This is going to help us a lot, and we're just, we're going to be good. The reason for Lost Chapter and not getting Luden's Echo is because the more levels you get, 
the more mana you're going to require, obviously. And you need some sort of mana and cooldown reduction. Uh, right? Because right now I have none. I have none at all. So that is why I'm building this and not finishing a Luden's Echo. But Hextech Portable is an amazing early game item. It's cheap, it's efficient, it gives you health. A lot, a lot of good stuff. And I think if I get enough stacks on our Seeker's Arm Guard, I can 2v1 them. Because they do not have Ignite. Vi's ulti is also really good to steal. The last fight I didn't have an ulti to take. Yep, there she is. And I think we should just go for it. This is pinked. But we don't know where LeBlanc is actually. Maybe in the, it's not the brightest idea. Because I have no magic resist, so... LeBlanc is the only thing that's keeping me from uh, actually getting somewhere. And like I said, don't don't shove the wave too hard. You want her to work for her CS. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about build guide. This is a build guide. What to build, why you build it, how you build it. And most top laners are going to be attack damage. You got Ribbon, Fiora, Jax, Darius. So this is what you're normally going to go. I don't have TP to help them bot lane, but I see... Question authority. This is a 2v3. And neither of them are low. Actually, LeBlanc is quite low. Okay. I've Conquer. Yeah, we win this. Good job. Nice. Alrighty. We will rip the power from their cold. Oh, you got it, you got it. I can't. I gotta catch this. I got a big wave here. So I'm gonna shove this to her tower. Hopefully it dies. I just have to recall at this point. Both to open a slot for my boots and to get uh, a lot of essential items. She caught the wave unfortunately, but the I don't have the pushing power yet to do anything about it. Alright, so there's our boots. We don't really need, we, we, we want to keep a dark seal because obviously we're scaling well with it. It's 30 AP at this point. We have a lot of starter items. I don't want to sell my Corrupting Potion yet because it's so early in the game. Actually, that might have been a better sell. Huh. Yeah, it probably would have been a better sell. I'm watching bot lane because I do have TP. But I'm not going to TP unless I really need to. Or else that'd be a waste. If I just TP... Oops, we missed that. If I just TP and then they back off, it's a waste of a TP. Yep, they're going really ham. They're going very aggressive. That top's going to suffer a bit. So we're going to try to force really hard here. And miss that. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's okay. We'll still get first tower. We can get dragon. We need everyone to hit this. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Whatever they bring, I'll match it. Should just take dragon, in my opinion. But at this point, I'm so close to Hextech Proto Belt, I'm just going to try to finish it. No more Whatever means necessary. We're going to have to free farm, honestly, but I still picked Time up a kill. I need someone to go there for me, because I'm not going to make it anymore. Probably bot lane rotate. As long as we still got first tower. There is no I'm here for you. A mage seeker tried to test me once. All right. Just leave it. We can give a few. I have a lot of gold. Bunch of rotations. We don't want to miss farm. We don't want them to get towers. We'll have Swain rotate there. I'll go mid. Even things out a bit. 
Good thing I have magical footwear. Gives me that extra movement speed. That way I can do these without missing too much. I'm still the highest level in the game. And so now that we built our Hextech Porta Belt, we're going to finish all of our other items. But first we're going to finish Luden's Echo. Then we're going to finish uh, Zonia's. And, and as you can see, like that Kronk meme, everything's just coming together now. And uh, all those starter items are kind of just connecting. Now, I used to talk a lot of trash on Proto Belt, but it's actually amazing both for its lane shoving purpose, for its active and killing. It's really great for bursts, and that's what Silas is all about. He's about burst and extended fights. Alright, see Vi there. Gotta see Vi has magic resist for us. So, as this build, as a Silas top lane, you wanna be both a tank for your team and a damage dealer. A bruiser, but an AP bruiser, which is a little untraditional and not common in this game because usually AD bruisers, especially in the top lane. But that's what we'll be going for with this. We'll have Zonia's, we have Hextech Protobelt to make us tanky, and then later on we'll get Spirit Visage, which will make us tanky in a magic resist way. So all these things connect to make him strong and durable. I like to go in a solo lane to get as much solo XP as possible because your like your level scaling is extremely important. But it doesn't seem like that's possible with the spell cost. So I'm gonna be going bottom, and I guess he's following me. I'm, I'm not quite okay. Silas is also a very kiteable champion, so this portal belt is really good for closing the gap. I think I've missed like three cannon minions in a row. Alrighty, and we're gonna be shoving in lanes. Looks like she's gonna get uh, stone plate as her first item. I don't have TP to help them. But since I see all of the enemy there, I'm gonna be trying to shoving as much as possible. So at least I still make an impact. It's just unfortunate that my TP is not up yet because that was definitely a winnable fight. But at least I'll get something out of it. All right, we have enough for our Ludens Echo now. So this is working pretty perfectly now. As you can see, we're at 30% cooldown reduction. Obviously, you want to aim for 40% as soon as possible. Zonia's is going to give us a 40%. And we actually will go over. Uh, when we get a Spirit Visage, we'll have 10% extra. But when you get into the late, late game, and uh, you're going to want to sell Hextech Protobelt for a different item, probably a Morella Namicon, a more expensive item, because it's just not really as good in the late game as other items. And you already have your 40% cooldown reduction, so it's not necessary. But that's that's very down the road, and that's like, yeah, when you're full build. So for now, we have two and a half items. Little Zonk is a little scary. Seven and one. So I may have to build a... You know, Spear Vistage is good, but against some champions like a LeBlanc and Zoe, uh, it Banshee's Veil is better. So I may just go down that path, actually. So I have TP... Riven doesn't. I'm not going to steal her ulti yet because if Vi comes, that's a better one to steal. Never prematurely take one because you also might run out on its cooldown. And before you actually have a team fight, you have nothing. I'm going to be pressuring top because I want... Okay, well there's Vi. Here I come. Push her off a little bit. Now this is a very good ulti to steal. Forcing a fight would be beneficial here. Because Riven has no TP. So let's do that. I guess Riven already had TP. Well, the cooldown goes lower, but it doesn't matter. Now we Baron. 
It'd be more, it'd be better to get this than anything else. Then it's way better than, than getting a tower, obviously. We have the damage output for it. We're all alive. It's just a luck support who's building utility. So if we work on this together, we'll be able to take it. But we need everyone on it. Yeah, I'm out. Nice. And so now with this lead, this doesn't happen often, but if you do have a lead, you already have extra movement speed from these slightly magical boots. Magize is an amazing item, obviously, for snowballing, and that's what Silas is, a snowballer. I have flash up, which makes me a little less risky. So I'm going to be building Magize. Uh, it's looking pretty good here on out. It looks like they do have healing right here. So we're going to build Morello soon because we do not have Ignite. But for now, <clears throat> I'm going to be split pushing. I'm two levels above. I have flash, like I said. I'm pretty, pretty confident. And now with this movement speed, I'm going to be looking for more kills. And that's a pretty easy pickup. Now, I wouldn't really recommend not building boots this late into the game. I actually like building boots pretty early. But because we've just been doing so good with our itemizations and our leads, uh, it just didn't really like deem... Like, it would be better to get a Ludens, obviously, than finish my boots and half finish Ludens. So, for boots... Unless they have an all AD team or a very, very CC team, I normally just go Sorcerer's Shoes. It's really, really good. It maximizes all of your damage a lot. Penetration is insane on Silas, so that's most likely what I'm going to be building. For now, we're just playing map. Looks like a fight's breaking out. I got a great ulti, though. But I can't overstep because I can still get bursted. Goodbye. Ah, that's the problem. I have no magic resist yet. 55. So the biggest damage dealer is going to do, you know, the most damage to me. Just going to focus it all on me. And I didn't even have time to flash, unfortunately. So there goes my Magi stacks. But it looks like with the Baron buff, should have this game on lockdown because it was still a two for one. Just a stomp here. And so ideally, because this game's ending, I'm going to be telling you the finished uh, build. So after Azonia's Hourglass, we would go Rabidon's Death Cap. That's our next item. And like I said, as the last one, it's very situational. You can go... So we have two more open slots. You can go Morella Nomicon, Spirit Visage, or Banshee's Veil. I would most likely go Banshee's Veil that game because of the LeBlanc. But anyways, that's the game for you guys. I hope it helped you guys in your top lane. I hope it simplified what the thought process behind things. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.